You're watching News 3 at 5 with Jim Snyder and Sue Manteris. Or just as you mentioned, across the nation tonight, communities are getting together to take a bite out of crime. But in downtown Las Vegas, National Night Out has an added significance. This is the night that Metro's first ever crime cameras will begin scanning the streets for lawbreakers. News 3's Steve Krupe is live at 15th and Fremont. And Steve, the cameras are getting a lot of neighborhood support. They sure are, Sue. As you know, for decades, this intersection out here has been encrusted with hookers, drug dealers, and gang members, and getting rid of all the crime is the goal of these cameras that are now up and running. That's one of them right there, but uh, there's a whole network of them here that will be running 24 hours a day, keeping an eye out for any type of illegal behavior. Now, police officers won't actually be monitoring the cameras around the clock, but it will act as a deterrent, and then during those times when something does happen, happen out here. They can review the pictures and find out exactly what is going on out here. Really, the only organized opposition to these cameras has been from the local the ACLU. They say this is a case of where Big Brother is going too far and invading our privacy. But as we come back to our live camera out here, you can see how the neighborhood is beginning to gather together. The National Night Out event here involves all sorts of folks who are coming together at this intersection. They'll be partying well into the evening. In fact, they have little groups of people that will be stationed out on the street corners at Fremont and 15th, getting the word out that the cameras are now operational and they're happy about it. Reporting live. I'm Steve Krupe. Sue, back to you. All right. That sounds like a, a great idea out there, uh, Steve. But who is footing the bill for all these cameras? Uh, temporarily, at least, it's the camera companies. They hope to uh, sell all sorts of cameras to the Metro Police Department. So for a 30-day period, they're donating the cameras. And there are three companies that will be doing that back-to-back -back during this 90-day trial period. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Steve Krupe. Metro is hosting events at 23 different locations. We're talking about the National Night Out. You can find out more information about them on the homepage of kbbc.com. Also on our website, information about the events that North Las Vegas police are holding at the Cheyenne Sports Complex. That one begins at 6 tonight. The Galleria Mall is the site of Henderson's National Night Out. That begins tonight at 7. Surveillance cameras begin a test run in downtown Las Vegas. We'll look at the controversy over that. What? This is Channel 8 Eyewitness News at 6 in high definition. People across the country are fighting back against crime on this national night out. Some who work and live in downtown Las Vegas are taking back their neighborhood in a unique way. Tonight, surveillance cameras will be turned on near 15th and Fremont. Channel 8 Eyewitness News is live. Ted Ferrando is at that intersection, and he found out not everybody thinks this is a great idea. Ted. That's right, Gary, but you got to check out these cameras here on 15th and Fremont. They are big, highly visible, and equipped with sirens and lights. Now, neighbors in the area are excited the cameras will be turned on, but like we said, the ACLU says this may be a big mistake. In a city that never sleeps and a billion-dollar casino industry, Las Vegas is inundated with thousands of hidden surveillance cameras. But cameras at several downtown intersections are far from inconspicuous. 14th and Fremont, we have a great reputation down here for being a crazy place. This is the real Fremont experience if you want to know the truth. You guys have a good day. Roland August is the owner of this mini mart. In his 22 years in this urban neighborhood, he's seen his fair share of crime. There's a lot of drug activity, there's a lot of prostitution, there's a lot of um, you name it. Which is why these highly visible cameras have been put here. They're part of Metro's pilot program to help clean up this neighborhood. Roland is so thrilled about the new cameras, he's advertised it all around his shop. Well, they do a double take. They look up there, they see the cameras, they know people are watching, and they think, all right, you know, maybe I can do this someplace else. There lies the problem. Lee Roland with the ACLU believes the cameras will only make criminals do their dirty work elsewhere. She also raises the question, are we ready to have Big Brother watching 24 hours a day? So I think that's we want to have an honest debate about is this where we want to go as a city? You know, it's not just about 15th and Fremont. Right. It's about in order to make these cameras work at all, studies show they have to be everywhere. And are people comfortable with that? I, for one, am not. The ACLU is not. Um, and that's because, as I said, the risks outweigh the benefits. Now, North Las Vegas and Henderson police tell us that they have no plans to put up surveillance cameras in those neighborhoods. Metro got the idea of these cameras after researching surveillance networks in Chicago and London, England. Morning live from Fremont and 15th, Ted Florendo, Channel 8, Eyewitness News.
Very interesting, Ted. Lights and sirens, huh? The surveillance camera unveiling is part of National Night Out. More than two dozen events are planned in Las Vegas, North Las Vegas, and Henderson. The effort is a way for people and police to come together and discuss ways to fight crime. For a list of National Night Out events happening in your area, go to our website, lasvegasnow.com.